Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. And for those who are using ProPresenter or any type of presentation um, software, sometimes you play and loop through your announcements at the beginning of service, which I think is a very good time to leverage that uh, countdown time. But sometimes you want to engage the audience as much as possible. And we talk about that by leveraging skills that we learn from the book called The Power of Habit. This is where we engage as many senses as possible. So. If you are just putting up a slideshow, and there's no music, there's no nothing, we want to let the congregation and people that are watching online know when everything is going to be done, when the service is going to start. And we've done that with a countdown timer before, but how do we integrate that easily into our pro presenter? So let me show you how to do that. So there are multiple ways to do this, but for future stuff, so like this is a slide I just threw together for announcements that loops through and everything. And I guess, yeah, and it loops back. So say you want to keep adding this, but then you don't want to add a timer into every single slide. You want it to be kind of automated. So this is what I've done. We're just going to make an extra slide in our theme and it will populate everything on our announcement. So you can add all your slides that you want, and then we just pop that slide in, I mean, pop the theme in, and then we're good to go. So first, let's select the theme that you normally use, and I'm gonna come in here and use the edit this whole thing. Now I've made one of these already, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make it all over again so we can go through everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and just make a new slide here. Now, what I like to do is we start off with a countdown and I want to maintain that countdown. Now, for me, my countdown is coming from ProPresenter, so this makes this easy. So first, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a bar all the way across the bottom of my scene, and this is gonna contain and make my counter and everything stand out from when I go to different slides. You can put it any color that you want. Right now, I'm just gonna use mine as black. So we'll set that color to black, All right? Now we already have our text field. Let's go ahead and shrink this whole thing down. And you can select whatever font or anything that you want. Now, the one problem when you're doing this, and let's actually bring this to the front is you can't set, or I'm not aware of how to set this text to always be the same. It keeps trying to link to something else, but not a problem because we're gonna link this to a file so that if we ever want to change to say, instead of saying service countdown, we might say funeral countdown, concert countdown, and I'm gonna link it to a text file. So all we gotta do is change the text file to whatever we want, and we don't have to come and touch this again. So how do we do that? We are gonna go ahead and click our text, I'm actually gonna align this over to the left and let's slide it over just a little bit. Now we're gonna come down here to linked text and let me turn my highlighter on so it makes it easier for you to see. We're gonna go to link text and we're gonna come down in here and we're gonna say, we're gonna link this to a file. You could do it to an RSS feed, whatever. Um, now let's pick our file that we're gonna use. We go to select file. And I've already made something here called service countdown. All right. Don't worry about the text being right there. Cause if I open up the file so that you can see it, all that file says is service countdown. So I can come in here and change the service countdown, funeral countdown, whatever, whatever is here is going to populate once we select that. Very, very simple. Now let's go up here to this plus, let's add another text field. Let's go ahead and shrink it down. And that should be big enough. We're gonna keep this one in line with this. Let's shrink it a little bit more, something like that. And I'm gonna change my font. I like using kind of like a digital font when I'm using my timers. So let's go ahead and pick this one, all right? We're gonna link this text as well too. We're gonna link this to the timer that we have. And I had a video talking about how you set timers. 
So I am linking that to my live stream start. There's my timer there. This is where you want to make sure it has enough space, but this isn't going to be a problem because we don't need hours. I'm going to turn that off. We don't need, um, I think the other one is frames or milliseconds or whatever. We don't need that. So there's our timer. You can change the font color, all this other stuff if you want. But that's pretty much it. Now let's rename it. We're going to call this um, pre-service announcements. That's what we're going to call it. So now if we come back over here and let me go over to the scene so you can actually see it a little bit better. So here's our slide originally with everything, no timer or nothing at all. So now let's go ahead and apply that theme. We just go to the theme and we go to it and there it is right there. We click on it. Boom. It automatically added our stuff. Now a couple of these, it changed. So we might have to edit this a little bit. So I'm going to come in here and let's go to our first slide. See it put that bar in front. I just need to make this background go all the way to the back so that it leverages that. All right, so we're good there. All the rest of them, as you can see, it added it, and we're all good to go. I don't know why I did that first one like that. But be mindful when you do this that you don't have any text in that area where you decide to put your countdown where the theme is going to add that. So that's why I made sure all of my text is above that, or you're going to have to go in and edit all that stuff. But if you know that and you're using the theme to add all this information, just make your slides appropriately, and then you don't have to worry about anything. So like, for example, um, well, let me show you what it looks like now. So now, as you can see, and if I start my countdown, see, now we have our countdown to whatever time that we got. And as we go to different slides, and I think I have a 10 second delay between each one of them, see, our countdown is maintained. So if I had our main slide countdown, it would show inside the sanctuary, then it cuts over to this and you can share this It makes it really, really easy. Now let's cut back over and just show you the beauty of this. We're going to add another image in here. Say I bring this new slide over here and I want to actually, I want this to scale to fill. So it'll fill up everything so we get rid of our black bars. But as you can see, it doesn't have that in there. All we got to do is come back in here, engage that theme again. And just like that, we're all good to go. So if I cut back over so you can see it, our countdown is now maintained. Um, and actually, I already used this image. I thought it was a different one. <laughs> I picked the wrong one. But that just shows you how easy this is. So let's add one more and let's make sure I pick an image that we have not used. There we go. We'll put this one over here. And again, we're going to change this to scale to fill. I need to set my pro presenter to always do this. So we got that image. We're just going to go ahead and apply that theme again. And now it just as easily adds this on. So now when we go back and look at our slides, it automatically has our countdown going on. And now you can easily turn that theme off. Say you want to make play the same, the same slideshow inside during service. We obviously don't need a countdown then. And I really need to fix this image. It keeps pushing the image in front. Well, we'll worry about that. All of the slides are right. But say all you have to do now is just turn that theme off. And then now you can play the slides, your announcement slides, whatever, inside the sanctuary. And you don't have to worry about a countdown because you don't need a countdown if you're already in service. So I think that's about it. Let me know if you have any other questions. We're doing just little simple things to give people some refreshers in ProPresenter 7, and we'll cut over to other presentation softwares. But a lot of people have been asking me about the ProPresenter ones. That's the reason why we're focused on that. But y'all know we are always open to try and help out media ministries as best as possible. So leave a comment down below if there are other things in ProPresenter 7 that you want to learn or any other presentation stuff you may have a question about. So um, the last video that we talked about was doing the multi-view that you probably saw on the screen. And now we're doing a different theme to make our pre-service announcement countdown very easy to be added to our current slides by leveraging a new theme, a new section in our theme group, something like that. <laughs> anyway, 
So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video later. <laughs>